I started stage three straight after my beer to celebrate the finish of stage two late in the afternoon. I didn't really go all that far. I had a really nice downhill section to ride and I rode about 10 or 12 kilometers until I came down to a park, a nature reserve uh, along a river. And it looked really, really nice. I was starting to feel tired and I knew I was going to have to find a good campsite. So I stopped there and uh, set up my tent. The tent's been working great. I have had a few problems in high wind, but uh, that's something I'll address a bit later in a, in a review of the tent. It was a beautiful, tranquil area to sit around in and just enjoy the afternoon and the sunlight. And I thought, oh, I'm going to sleep really well here after a long day's riding. Uh, but there was only one slight problem. It's eight o'clock in the morning. It's been a bit of a cold night. Uh, there's actually frost on the inside of the tent. There's a bit of condensation here on near my head, and it sort of drips a little bit every now and again. But near near my foot side, there is actually a little bit of frost forming on the inside of the tent. Um, it's a little bit cold, but it's not that bad. Um, I was hoping to get up soon, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer until it gets a little bit warmer and I can get up and uh, start packing up and make some coffee. I eventually did get up, got some coffee going, and even broke out the drone so that I can show you just how beautiful this area was. I flew over the tent and the bike, and then a longer flight over the river looking out over the hills. I had a reasonably easy section here for a while, uh, going first just a slight bit uphill, then a long downhill to the lake where I could stop and have a rest and uh, dry the tent. But then after that, it was a really, really tough uphill section up uh, nearly all the way into the next town. Once I got there, I decided to take it easy and just have a rest day, do some rinsing out some clothes, servicing the bike for the first time, and just looking over everything generally. Nearly all the restaurants in the town were closed, but I did manage to find this nice looking restaurant. And I have to say I've had the best scrambled eggs with asparagus I've ever had in this place, and it was quite cheap as well. The next day, feeling refreshed after a day's rest, I set off again along what has so far been the best day of the, uh, the whole ride so far. Along beautiful trails, uh, hiking trails, easy hiking trails, so they were easy to ride. There were some ups and some downs, but a lot of down, nice downhill sections where I could just roll along and really enjoy the scenery. I got down into the valley and the, the trail followed the river for a long while. So I broke out the drone and uh, tried to get some shots of me cycling along. 
Now my drone doesn't have a follow function, so it proved a little bit difficult to get some good shots. I'm gonna to have to practice this a bit more till I get something that works, but I've got plenty of time to practice before this route is finished. It's been a great start. Had a downhill section today. And then I've been following basically some very easy to ride hiking trails. Cutting through some really nice countryside, nice scenery, following a river down along this valley. It's been quite nice. And now I've finally come onto this, uh, what has to be an old train track. <laughs> nice easy cycling. Not too many ups, not too many downs. Nice easy gradient to just plot along. All in all, it was a super enjoyable day and I got to stop plenty of times to have a look around and just sort of enjoy the scenery and even managed to break out the drone a couple of more times. As I've said, the scenery was great and there were plenty of opportunities to stop, slow down, have a look around and just enjoy everything. But there was a turn for the worse. After what has been a really brilliant start to today, um, all of a sudden the weather turned bad and it had to happen here when I'm at the highest point of this section and this day. Um, started giving it a little bit cold, got a little bit wet. Uh, I was debating whether just to pull on my rain gear and continue going or what to do and um, it looks like it might clear up in a little while so I've uh, stopped here and I've uh, had a cup of coffee and I'll just sort of stay out of the rain a little while longer and see if it clears up. Hopefully it'll clear up so I can uh, camp tonight without getting too wet. Um, it's been a brilliant day, apart from the weather the last couple of hours. Uh, riding along tracks, great scenery. Um, it hasn't really been too difficult. It's been, there's been a little bit of up and a little bit of down, but nothing really super serious. And it's been uh, really, really quite nice. Uh, could be that I'm feeling good after a rest day, but uh, I hope it uh, continues like this. Uh, I hope to make it another 20 kilometers at least before I camp for the night. Uh, if I do that, there is a chance that I might make it into Cordoba um, for tomorrow night. But we'll see what happens. First, the rain has to stop. It did get better during the afternoon and I found a brilliant campsite. I could settle down, enjoy the views. And then in the morning, I got up, broke out the drone, so that I could show you just how great a campsite this was. Eventually, I did have to get going and I packed everything up and set off towards Cordoba. Uh, this would prove to be my longest day so far, a bit over 70 kilometers, uh, and it was reasonably easy going in the beginning and there was a long downhill section. It wasn't as good as the day before because it was mainly paved road sections. There was some gravel, but most of it was along paved roads and it just wasn't as interesting as the gravel sections the day before. 
scenery wasn't as great either as the landscape was flatter and well as naturally as I got closer to Cordoba there were more and more houses and industrial sites. But if you do this part of the European Divide uh, bikepacking trail, plan to spend a few days in Cordoba. It's a nice place to slow down, have a look around. There are all the facilities you want and there are lots of things to see. It's a really, really interesting town. I'm having a couple of rest days here as I get ready to set off on section four.